Hey YouTube, we are going to do a video on the Pinellas bike trail at uh, St. Pete Madeira Beach um, KOA. So this is the bike trail that goes over um, all of St. Petersburg, Florida. This is a small snippet of um, part of the cool part of the bike trail. Um, this, I believe, used to be a railroad um, that they switched over um, to basically a bike trail. There's one of these in Washington, D.C. also. The one in Washington, D.C. is like 30 or 40 miles long. It is humongous. So this is the campground itself um, that we are staying at, and you can see the beautiful uh, um, sunrise. And so today we had decided to go on this bike ride, and basically we we're gonna ride the bike to a bar and then um, hang out at a, at a, a bar. Um, there will be sections of the campground and sections of the bike path that we're gonna go back and forth and kind of um, show it off, but it's very convenient to be um, at this KOA. So this is the map, and then um, the big line that goes all the way across all of St. Pete, Florida um, on the left side is the bike trail and you can see I marked where the KOA is. This is another map that they provide you that shows you where all the other bike trails are and as you can see um, it, it appears to be extremely bike friendly in that they have the main trail which is a green one and then all the blue ones. So here's a little car footage. Um, on the right hand side you see that bridge there and this will kind of go on for a, while, a bit. Um, because it took a while. This is right outside the KOA basically. That bridge there is the bike trail and uh, you can see um, it is very nicely um, like overpassed over all the main like expressways and stuff so you can feel safe um, going down this um, bike trail and the, the wonderful bike trail, the big blue bridge there. That's the bike trail. And like I said, um, this used to be railroads so um, they just reused the existing infrastructure. Um, obviously, it would have been probably really expensive to build this thing um, if they were just building it for a bike path. And yeah, it is it is humongous, and you get some really cool views um, overlooking stuff. Kimberly was using an e-bike. I was using a regular bike, um, a Cannondale um, mountain bike, actually, believe it or not, um, to go up these. And yeah, it's, it's pretty steep. The e-bike went right up it, no problem, just turning the little throttle. That's the sidewalk part of it. And then uh, you'll see that it extends out um, over the water um, up here when we get it on a bridge. So right now it is behind that yellow building kind of off to itself. Um, it is really um, unique. So um, yeah, if you plan to come down to the uh, Madeira Beach KOA, make sure you bring your bikes like to check out this bike path. Um, or they rent bikes too um, if you don't want to bring it. So way over there, like they, it has a bridge of its own that goes over the water. And that was a beginning footage that you saw. We'll have more footage of that um, in a bit. Um, so now I'm just going to show you the KOA itself um, for I don't know, a minute or two, and then we'll jump over the bike path so you can um, see that. And we've already done a video, couple videos on this um, KOA specifically. So to the right of us um, is a, like a retirement area where they have all these like kind of homes and stuff that people are living in where they've retired. It used to be, I think, over 55 to live in. There's a bar over there too, and we, we actually were intending on taking the bikes to the bar, and we didn't realize that the bike path didn't connect to the bar. We thought it would, but it didn't, so we ended up having to um, go a different route. So this gas station is very convenient and um, it's on the corner here um, that gets into the KOA. And this is a straight shot into the KOA. You can see the KOA sign on the left there. So it does look a little um, kind of industrial, I guess, um, around this KOA, um, obviously. Um, but once you get past like this small little industrial section, like you'll see that it's very nat um, natural looking and you'll see the entrance to the bike path also, which is, um, it should be up here very, very like shortly, maybe in 20 seconds or so. I didn't want to cut the video. I was thinking of cutting the video, but I didn't want to cut the video so you could actually see the whole area in case you decided that you wanted to ride your bike, um, like into town, not on the bike path and stuff. And you can see there's no real designated bike path, but path um, in this area. But at the same time, you can see it's not really like a high traffic area. They did have sidewalks um, over in that high traffic area, but most likely I would have taken the bike path. So here's another um, quick uh, little KOA sign. And the bike path should be like either barely in view, um, and we will be, it'll be in super view in a second or two. So where that truck is in front of us, um, that is the KOA right there and the bike path. So the stop sign with the bicycle, um, that is the bike path right here on the right. You can see the humongous bike path going to the left and going to the right and is right at the entrance of this KOA. So, you know, if you're with your family and stuff, um, you don't even really, you just basically go the 10 feet out the KOA and you don't even have to be anywhere where there's traffic and you can get right on the bike path. That's all nice and separated out. 
this is the KOA and on the left hand side you'll see um, like the, the blue thing is a uh, ice dispenser and then right past it there's this little fenced area that's where they keep the bicycles and uh, they have all kinds of different um, shapes and forms of bicycles and they even have e-bikes and stuff so if you decide that you don't want to um, like bring your bike or whatever or if you don't have an e-bike and you want an e-bike because you're worried about the little hills um, you can rent one at the KOA, I don't know the prices. Um, so here we are, we're getting um, on our bikes and we're going to go out. And uh, you know, we're camping on the edge of this water. And that's Kimberly on her e-bike. Um, there's a Ann Shear um, e-bike. We did a review of that bike specifically if you're um, interested in that bike. And sorry about the shakiness or whatever. It is on a GoPro, but uh, the camera is mounted on the bike and obviously um, we are riding the bike. So um, the footage might be just a hair um, shaky. Those are some cabins. They have different levels of cabins um, that overlook the water there. And uh, um, then the, the, you can see on the left side, um, these are the fifth wheels. So the, the left side, this small little area is an overflow for the seasonal area. Most of the seasonal stuff here is like right in front of us or past in front of us. But if that area is full or if you're here for like just say a month or two, you might end up like right here on the left um, in this like little overflow area. That's why some of the some of them look um, kind of built up. However, most of these on the left are not seasonal. They're um, like night by night or people that are here for a week. Obviously, um, the right are rentals. The left is a main complex with a pool and a golf course. The little like mini golf course. Um, that's a laundry there. The little yellow building. And I believe that is a weight room right there. Um, they have firewood here. However, when we were here, they were going through firewood extremely fast. That's a hot tub on the left and a pool. Um, propane, like I said, right in front of us, those little fenced areas um, are where the bike rentals are if you decide that you want to do um, a bike rental. And that is like the entrance to the KOA that we're on. You can see this is extremely safe and it's, um, you know, there's not really that many cars. The main cars that are here the people that are either checking into the KOA or, or leaving the KOA. And then this is where you get on the bike path itself. Um, and you can go left or right, obviously. So this is where we are overall on the big map. And you can see that in the overlay. And now we're going to head down the bike path. The bike path is um, paved the whole way um, as, as far as we rode on it. And... Um, I sped up the video just a little bit, obviously I'm not riding my bike this fast. And uh, on the um, sides, in a couple spots, they have little openings where uh, you can get it on and off the bike path. Um, obviously in the commercial areas, they have lots of them. Um, this is more of a residential area. That turn right there was a turn that we were looking for, but you saw it was fenced off and it said no trespassing. It looked like you could open the gate, but um, we didn't feel comfortable. And there is a marina here right on the water, and they have this like really cool looking little bar that we went to, and uh, it's over there. And as you can see, there's not any cars or traffic or anything in this area, so it is very, very safe um, for, you know, like you and your kids. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to slow down the video just to back to kind of regular speed. And you have this like wonderful view of the, um, the bayou. And yeah, sorry, the video's a little shaky, um, but the, yeah, it's a bike. And anyway, um, the bayou is basically a body of water um, that is off a bay. So you have like the ocean, and then I think off of ocean you have a bay. Um, and then off a of bay you have a bayou. Um, it's like the, the bay within the bay, sort of is, is uh, technically what, it, what this is, I think. The, um, the road that you see over there in the far distance on the right was a footage in the beginning of the video when you saw that we were um, driving up here. So you have this like like really kind of like fantastic bridge that you can go across. Um, there are other really fantastic um, things that you can do on this bike path, like other um, scenic areas. Um, but we wanted to share with you at least like a small the small snippet that we went through. And um, this thing is humongously large. So if you're really really into bicycling. Um, you could really bicycle really long distance um, here. Um, however, um, if you're with your kids and stuff, you may be only wanting to bicycle, say, like for half an hour or something, or for like a short distance. And um, it's really cool to see that you have this um, this fantastic view from the KOA, basically um, a very in very close proximity um, to the campground itself. You don't have to go very far to get to this. So I sped it up again just um, like for time a little bit because a lot of this footage is um, kind of a little repetitive. Um, but you can get a really good feeling for how long this bridge is and how uh, 
long this bicycle path is and how cool it is. So the channel and the, um, the videos coming up, we are just about out of um, videos for things that we've done in the past and we're about caught up in real time. Um, so we'll probably share with you um, some Great Falls footage um, that we, um, we did um, in the next video maybe and then um, after that we'll probably be doing real time videos, videos that are like for this season. And uh, our camp, seasonal campground opens up um, this coming weekend. So you're going to get to see the seasonal campground again and uh, trips going up to Pennsylvania. That will be the next um, set of things. Whoa, let's slow this down. So this is a bridge that uh, you saw earlier in the video, the, the, um, the blue bridge. Um, that was like a overpass um, over the, the cars. And I wanted to share this with you also just so you could see that you could actually get in town and um, not feel like you know you were um, worried about your kids being hit by a car or something like that you can see that um, it is very secure they have like fencing and stuff and um, they actually have the lanes set up like the little white line um, denoting um, people going in different directions and uh, unfortunately I do not remember which day of the week we are up here um, but as you can see I mean it's it's pretty vacant I mean up here there's not like like a million people trying to run you off the road um, that was the experience that we had at least that it would seem very peaceful and calm and uh, this is us trying to figure out where this bar is, um, basically, and we're, we're lost. <laughs> so, um, you know, shortly we're going to basically stop and make a U-turn. Um, so this is a, um, the blue is actually overpass that you saw. So hopefully um, this bike path kind of like um, entices you a little bit uh, to maybe one more thing to do, you know, when you're in Florida. Um, you know, really, really cool um, bike path. So thanks and, um, you know, please like and subscribe. We will um, definitely have more um, camping and um, vacation slash adventure footage um, for you guys. Uh, thank you.